Welcome back to Off-Road Touring. In this one here, we are currently on 10 Mile Beach or Shark Bay sort of area. So what we're planning to do this trip is we're making our way from Brizzy to Sydney, hitting all the East Coast beaches, both four-wheel driving and non-four-wheel driving, trying to see some of the national parks and some of the stunning campsites along the way. Yeah, and some of those include Stockton Beach, uh, Smoky Beach, and a lot of others in, in the way. So anyway, we'll get into it and hope you guys enjoy this video. We're down here on 10 Mile Beach or Shark Bay and Yeah, we're just watching the beautiful sunrise about to happen. It's about 5.30ish at the moment. Sun's supposed to fully come up just after six, but we get to watch the most amazing, stunning oranges reflecting in the water. It's so stunning here. Just so unreal. Anyways. We're gonna enjoy this for a while, wait for it to sort of come up. We had to take a break from uh, sitting down and watching the sunset because we couldn't leave the old girl out. Just so awesome. This makes for some awesome shots out here. After watching one of the best sunrises we have ever seen, we jump back into the patrol and continue making way to the north point of 10 Mile Beach. If you haven't been here before, there is only one entry and exit along the whole beach, which is at the southern point by Shark Bay. And although it is a nice beach to explore if you were in the area, it's not as nice as some of the other beaches we end up seeing. We're at the sort of most northern point of 10 Mile Beach that you can actually drive. So we've come all the way along there. I think it's only about, oh, it's not too far and then you come up to this sort of rocky section. So we just parked up, taking some nice photos and that sort of stuff. There is Black Rocks Campground just up above those uh, sort of dunes, which you can get to around the other side, but not from this end. But yeah, it's such a nice spot out here and it's kind of worth the drive to come out. But anyways, we're gonna head back now to head back to Shark Bay, uh, maybe check out some stuff in the area and then sort of continue down further Let's south to Sydney. Beach. So we've just pulled up off the beach just for a quick stop. We found the lagoon here, it's pretty cool. It's got like lots of little pockets and little holes in it. It'd be great for paddle boarding or just chilling out, but we're not gonna stay and swim, I don't think. Just a quick pit stop before we move on. Yeah, and it's quite interesting. There's actually all car, like wheel tracks all over that other side. They go up and over these dunes. They do come through here as well and they, like this here used to be a car track, but they've blocked it all off and that sort of stuff. So I'm assuming there's been no driving for a long time, but yeah, yeah. would have been cool driving around all this back in the day. But yeah. Anyways, we're going to continue, continue on. now here pulled up I think it's pronounced Iluka or Luluka or something uh, picnic sort of area or camping area it's a nice little walk out and it's not far from the car park but it oh, comes out to a nice Rock resort pool. sort of beach area yeah <laughs> it's actually quite nice this is absolutely unreal so there's a few people swimming up over there and it's got these like sort of rock pool sort of section almost. It's so blue. It's so clear. It's so nice. It's such a nice day. I'm surprised there's not more people sort of in the more rock pool section. Yeah. There are some like little crab shells and barnacles, but if you're careful, it would just be the most amazing place to go for a swim. So along this sort of cliff rock edge, when you get a big enough wave that crashes up over these rocks, the water all just flows into this 
crystal clear rock pool and then just flows down a little waterfall back into the ocean. So beautiful. So a massive whale just jumped way, way out there. I'll see if I can get the drone out far enough and there's all dolphins just in front of us. See the whale jumped again. I think it's whale. <laughs> How cool. So that was so bloody cool. We saw a pod of three dolphins three and four, we did yeah. manage to get that on the drone and we saw a whale jumping twice but unfortunately Insane. it went away before we got the drone out but the whale that jumped so cool. way over there and dolphins were swimming by just in front of us here yeah. how cool unfortunately i couldn't find the whales on the drone but ah yeah. uh, well we still lucked out though every time we've gone to on a beach trip we've at least seen dolphins or turtles yeah, or something. sharks it's or whales something. it's so cool that's epic anyways i think that's all for this area we'll continue on from here if you haven't seen this place before i highly recommend it the water and surrounding cliff edges and beaches make this place so pristine and magical you can also swim on the beach here which would be amazing in the summer there is a picnic area at the car park and a little lookout on the cliff edge above us but overall we were so glad we stopped by this area We've just driven for quite a few hours and we're now all the way down at Smoky Cape Lighthouse. So we'll check this out and then we uh, we'll punch on to, I think it's South. Smoky. South Smoky Beach, yeah. yeah go some, do some four wheel driving. Yeah, so go check out this lighthouse. The lighthouse is just up behind me there, a bit hard to see, but we're just sort of at this walking sort of point and picnic area and check this out. It's absolutely stunning here. Kind of reminds us of what it was like when we were at Hamilton Island yeah. a year or two ago. Insane. Yeah, it's just so nice. So cool. Makes me think like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> there were some whales just out there as well. I didn't get them on the drone, unfortunately, but absolutely unreal. They just keep like popping up here and there. So the car park's way down there. And you got, it's a short walk, but it's very, very steep. And you got that view the whole way to this lighthouse. Some information there which is cool to read up on it's an all white white house, white house it's insane the views you get from the top of this mountain are so unreal and we've seen yet a lot more whales off in the distance the lighthouse is quite small and had a lot of people up at the top section so i didn't feel much of it otherwise it was nice to see and worth the walk to the top like one patch of whales it was like many different patches all yeah. across like the view from the lighthouse yeah absolutely unreal we've never seen anything like it like yeah. seen one here or there on our other trips but yeah never this many all at once it yeah. was so cool there's also a couple little bays down there that you can walk to we didn't walk to just because we didn't really have the time so yeah. maybe next time we come but now we're just on South Smoky Beach, just on the full driving beach at the moment, and we're just gonna cruise along and see what we get up to. Yeah, absolutely so beautiful out here. Like this is all just reminding us of Hamilton Island or even like Fraser and Morton. Yeah. Like, so it's just blurry. unreal. So lovely. Along this full driving beach the sand gets extremely soft at some sections, however it's quite a nice beach. 
We entered from the North Point via Smoky Cape Campground entry and are making our way to the southern end to exit at a small town called Hat Head. Pulled into Kylie's beach campground. It's actually quite a nice sort of area. It's there's no like allocated campsites. It's all on the sign, which is yeah. pretty cool. It's all just, just a bit of space. First in, first serve. Whoever gets the best spot gets the best spot. Yeah. So we found a little sort of tucked away spot in here. There's some people there next to us. They're about to pack though and head off by the looks. Yeah. But anyways, we'll get this all set up and yeah, have everything set up nice and early, which is going to be nice. Yeah. So, Kylie's Beach Campground is listed as a standard national park campground with the standard New South Wales national park fees. Campfires are allowed and there is nice facilities and the area is well maintained so it makes for some nice camping. A couple minutes later and we are all set up. We are absolutely just loving having a hard chill tent with a freestanding awning. It makes everything so quick. Pretty much got everything out for dinner and all that sort of stuff. Might have some teas, not too sure but so, so chill out here. I think it's about getting close to five now so it is still nice and early and being a bit more summertime the sun won't set until ages which is nice but <laughs> well we're just gonna go walk down to the beach here there's a short walk down to the beach hopefully it'll be good you can hear the waves from here so it shouldn't be too far there's just been whales jumping out all over there and all over here massive one keeps jumping up over here it's just absolutely epic to see that's just not something you see every day, but wow. It's just unreal out here. So camps, just a little short walk up there. Driving beach access is there, and then pedestrian access down to the beaches through there, which all a short walk. And then just up here goes to like Indian Head camping area. So we're gonna go check out Kylie's hut go from there. It's just 300 meters from this area which is quite short. So we've just come out there 350 meters later. A little hut. Just out the middle of this section. It's kind of cool. Go in and have a look at it. There is a road just up there as well I believe. Can we get in? Oh we can. I was actually expecting it to be kind of destroyed or graffitied or yeah. doesn't look like any of that. It's all we would need, you know, just a little cabin out in the middle of nowhere. We're just looking at all these stilts here and actually realize it's like they either moved the hut or maybe just rebuilt it, refurbished it sort of thing. But yeah, kind of interesting. Anyways, we'll uh, continue back. We've got a fire going now. Absolutely awesome. Just chilling out. Grace is cooking up some dinner now. Get these lights on. Smells bloody delicious. And that sort of sunset was looking a lot better earlier, but I'll fly the drone up and have a look. For tonight's dinner we have got just a burrito bowl so we've got some sort of lettuce already on the plate got some it's like a rice mix like mexican sort of rice mix with some pulled uh, beef in there and a bit of salsa got some onion that we'll chuck in oh man we had this last night too and it was bloody delicious so i can't wait to dig in today's been a pretty good day so far 
we saw a lot, saw a lot of cool things, but um, just wish we kind of got a chance to pull up and swim and just mm. chill out for a little bit. That would have been nice. That would have been pretty good. A lot of beach driving today. Yeah. But what a what an awesome way to finish the night off. Some hot food and a hot fire. Anyways, this will be us for the night, and we'll uh, we'll catch, catch you guys in the morning. morning. Good morning, so I woke up quite early this morning because I wanted to watch the beautiful sunrise and it was, it was quite spectacular, it was good to see, whilst Cameron slept in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I may have woken up around like 7.30 but it's currently about 8.30, we're all packed up and ready to hit the road, we're actually going to punch straight onto Crowdy Bay which is just around here, yeah. so yeah, let's, uh, let's get on the, on the beach. So we've just come up that hill there, pulled up before we jump onto the beach just down there. We're just laying our tires down because it's not exactly fully low tide, but it's uh, it's sort of coming up to high tide about midday. So it's still got a few hours to high tide, but yeah, because it's going to be a bit soft. Let the tides down now. And we've just got these uh, sort of handy deflators. You just screw them on and they just let all tires down. And they're all getting let down at the moment and we don't have to touch them. So super, super handy, those things. But uh, we're just going down to about 18, 20 PSI. Should be a fun beach run. Uh, it looks like there is an exit at the bottom or south point. So we'll go check that out. And it is a very cloudy day as well. So hopefully it holds off on the rain. It does say it's supposed to rain today, but we'll, uh, we'll find out. Anyways, we'll get this down and head on the beach. We packed up and left Kylie's Beach Campground, which was such a nice spot. We jumped onto Kylie's Beach via Crowdy Bay and planned to punch all the way down to the southern end to exit the beach at Crowdy Head. This is a long stretch of beach and it was mostly soft sand, but we had heaps of fun and just kept making our way south, hoping the grey clouds would clear up along the way. It's actually quite choppy out there today. It's all rough, a lot rougher than it was yesterday. Grey clouds everywhere as well. So it's not as nice and sunny as the other days. And uh, Grace thought she'd uh, have some fun driving again. So yeah, so far so good. It is very soft out here though. It is very soft. We now pulled up at Crowdy Bay Lighthouse, that's so a little lighthouse we'll check out, but this view is crazy, it'd be better without the grey clouds, but essentially way, way over there is where we just came from, so we drove along that whole beach, all the way out to Crowdy Bay here, so it was a nice, nice full driving beach, it was very soft in a lot of sections, towards this end of this town, it's uh, not so soft and there's a lot of people out there with cars just chilling for the day, kind of like Double Island or so, but anyways, check out this little lighthouse. bit windy up here and look this view it's very choppy out there it's nice quick little detour it'd be brilliant on a clear day yeah definitely this is actually insane so right now we've just spotted so there's a whale out here he just jumped up before and now way way out back there's two whales and a big splash here where we were seeing one whale, and then just past him there was another one. That one there just splashed again way out there. I don't know if you can see that. That's unreal, that one there just come up again. This is insane, they're actually everywhere. Because we've seen so many whales every single day. Every day, that's crazy. I mean, I see one every day too, but no, I'm kidding. But this is, this is insane. Yeah, we can't believe this. 
Well, we're down here at uh, sort of One Mile Beach or Samurai Beach sort of area near Fingal Bay, Nelson's Bay, all that sort of like pocket of beaches, which is pretty cool. We did stop in at Nelson's Bay uh, in the lolly bug. We can't resist. We were there on our Vic High Country trip when we came back, but we thought we'd stop in because we're right nearby. Got some delicious looking fudge, so... Yeah, we can't wait to dig in. We got some other sort of snacks as well. We got Biscoff, Choc Man, Creme Brulee, Cookies and Cream, Jam Donut, and Snickers. Yeah, we are. We're pretty keen to try those. Anyways, we'll uh, sort of go to camp, check this area out, maybe, maybe hit onto One Mile Beach and that sort of stuff. finally found the access track because there's two on the maps but one's actually closed just goes through a short bit and then you come out here on the beach Just about to enter the beach, as you can see right there. It is so choppy out there. It's a bit windy as well at the moment. So we just pulled up, we're just airing down because it's actually quite soft out here. And we've just sort of driven through all these sort of sand dunes. There's all tracks that run through, which is actually kind of cool. So we're gonna go down and try and find this campground. It's so different out here compared to like, you know, this we've never driven on sand dunes, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's air down and get out of here. Those entry and exit sort of points back there are absolutely chopped up and so damn soft. Most of the beaches, except for like sort of where we can't to now, and the waves are just smashing in, it's so rough, it's windy and everything. So I think there are uh, warnings at the moment for all the weather to not swim just because of all the dangers of that. So yeah, hopefully it's not too bad at camp, but we'll find out, I guess. We've just come from all the way at the other end of the beach, it's not far, uh, it's campsites all the way up that end and come down to this end and there's a bit of a little walk here and a few rocks and that sort of stuff. This here links up to the over beach on the other side I believe, a bit of rock pools and that sort of stuff which is cool but it is so bloody cold, it's raining and it's windy, Grace is uh, sitting in the car because it's so cold, I don't blame her but anyways we're just probably going to Maybe they head back to camp and chill out for the afternoon, I don't know. Pulled up at camp, it is bloody cold. <laughs> so cold out here. But the campground entry is just way up there. And then you sort of just come into a big loop around the back of here. There's some old mate parked up there and a bit of gear out there. So I'm assuming people are gonna come back too. So it's actually pretty quiet. This place is fully booked out. There's 20 sites, it's all unmarked. It's sort of just park wherever you want. And it's $6 for per site, which is allowed up to six people. So yeah, really cheap. But there's no facilities or anything like that. We're gonna get set up. We've sort of angled the car into the wind so it doesn't pick up the awning and that sort of stuff. But hopefully yeah, not. <laughs> it is, it's, it's chilly. It anyway. is a bit. <laughs> 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 clip, clip, go! It's actually filming now. It, it was already for filming. <laughs> oh. That wind, it's not fun. Trying to not get sand from my feet in here as well.
There you go, that's our bed and shade set up for the night. How easy. It's about 7.30, we've just been sort of sitting outside all afternoon, just sitting down and just taking it easy. It's been very windy and all that sort of stuff. And now we're up in the rooftop tent and it's dark. So yeah, it's <laughs> very, it's rain's been on and off all afternoon, but there's a few campers and whatnot kind of around. But yeah, we're just in here now and we're just, just chill out for the night. And yeah, chill up here because it's really, really cold out there. And there freezing. are no fires allowed at this campground. So mm. we can't really keep warm that way, so. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, this will be us for the night. We'll see you in the morning and hopefully it's a bit better. Unfortunately, that's the end of this video and we'll continue the rest of our way down towards Sydney in part two. We hit Stockton Beach, find some amazing caves, do a bit of four-wheel driving and see so many more things. I hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the second part of this off-road touring adventure.